step number one you need to edit or modify the settings.php now as you can see here we have the PayPal, PayPal sandbox uh, switch uh, turn it one for test mode zero for production mode and then <coughs> I'm sorry the download link how long do you want it to be live before it expires for your customers and then your PayPal email address also you need to change here for your support email address and then the name and the, your domain kind of like whatever name that you want to appear from uh, the email that is that you are sending to your customers when they purchase something from you and this is the product name the product code the product price and also currency and over here you don't need to change anything here and this is where you define the files for your product okay uh, simple IPN supports one file one products but it supports multiple files for those pro for that product okay so this is where you give the name of, of that file and this is the file name where the customers will be downloading and this is the file name uh, the name of the file where uh, the script will be getting the source from okay now it does not have to be the same name as the file name okay and it can be something else <coughs> and you can also store it in a different location you just need to tell the script where it is for example if it's one folder down from uh, the rest of the scripts you put this okay meaning we'll go one folder down and then uh, we'll find the script will try to find the file or it's one folder down and into another folder you can do that okay meaning that it's one folder down and then into the store folder and then into the file name okay and then this is how you define additional files okay just uh, the same way that we did uh, previously just use this and you can copy this and add more files and just define as many as you want okay and after that down here we have some settings about uh, the email that is going out to your customers okay these are tags you can just use them as you see here uh, you, we can define the customer name, uh, the product name, okay, uh, product name and product code, the download page, and then this is where you put your name and your email address or, or your company name, and your purchase. This is the email subject. You can also use these tags here. So that is step one. Finish that, and we're ready to upload uh, your files to the internet. Okay, assuming that you have uploaded everything into the internet, now you can uh, upload it into whatever folder that you want. Uh, it does not have to be uh, a specific name. Now, in my case, I have www.minisite gallery, and I uploaded one uh, copy of the simple IPN into simple IPN. And of course, in there, with all the files that we have, I'm going to have something like ipn.php there now it does not work on it on its own so uh, when, when you want to start selling what you do is in my case what I'll do I'll, I'll just have to link to uh, question mark buy so that is my buy link I can use that with an order button or just a direct link or with with a text or whatever and just to show you how what this does, put up the browser here. Okay. Okay, you will get something like this, and then it will redirect you to PayPal. And here we go. Okay, obviously, this is the link where I used to sell the simple iPad with no branding. And you, in your case, you can use this to sell whatever it is that you sell. As long as it is downloadable and you're using PayPal, you can use simple IPN. Well, all the best.